exactly right. We keep hearing about the depth on the defensive line. How beneficial is that for you guys to be able to rely on some guys behind you and get a break now and then? Oh, it's great. I mean, these new guys coming in are, are really excelling quick. I mean, they're picking things up really quick. I think we've done a good job at stuff that, I, like, we struggle with at the beginning. We're, we're getting them on a fast track, and they're, they're picking things up really quick. Jacob? Hey, Ray, kind of staying on that, you guys are returning just a ton of, you know, depth, a ton of experience from last year's team on the defensive side of the ball in particular. Can you, what do you think the the kind of ceiling is for this defense and, and how good you guys can be? I think we can be one of the best. I think the way we played in that bowl game really showed what we can do. I mean, we just have to put it all together. We have to play with that whole 11 on the field, everybody getting to the ball, everybody doing their job. I think if we do that, we can really – shut down some offenses this year quick follow-up too if you don't mind um can you just walk us through what you were working on the offseason maybe just offseason grind kind of specific things you were looking to kind of develop and, and take to the next level in terms of your game specifically uh for me i think um becoming a better transitional pass rusher for me is big you know we, we pride ourselves on stopping the run but when we get those pass looks really trying to get in the quarterback's face and you know, hopefully get the ball out so we got we got these top corners and get them some picks and get some turnovers this year. Yeah. Hey, uh, Raymond, who do you, who to you so far um, has have you seen kind of stand out or make the biggest improvement from the end of the season till now? I know obviously you you're not <laughs> playing any snaps or anything, but on the D line, who who just looked like they took that that off season part seriously and has come in, you know, stepped right in um, uh, looking sharp. You know, I can't even give you one guy. I'm going to give you three. I'm going to give you Jaleel Taylor, Christian Barner, and KJ Hester have all taken a huge jump these last couple of practices. They look completely different. They're really picking things up. And I think this off season was huge for them getting the whole off season. I mean, because all of us didn't get one last year. And I mean, they have looked so much better. These just these first couple of practices. Ross. Hey, Ray, I remember, um, I guess before the season last year, we talked about how you hadn't had a full off season at UNC, not a full strength and conditioning program, not a full spring. You kind of had that going into, into this spring. What have you improved on physically and where do you feel stronger? Where do you feel better um, after that strength and conditioning program? Uh, I feel like just my lower body in general, you know, getting in there with Hess, really grinding. I mean, this off season was huge. I mean, we were in there grinding. I mean, what, five days a week, basically, where a lot of guys are coming in on optional days. I feel a lot better. I feel a lot stronger. I would say my legs, though, are the biggest thing for me. And then quickly, um, what can you tell us about Keyshawn Silver and Javari Ritzy individually? Uh, both just genetically, like, I mean, they are playing way better than I expected. I mean, they are big bodies, very athletic, and, and they're really picking things up, too. I'm, I'm very impressed with them so far. Greg Hall. Ray, speaking of the weight room, um, we've heard a lot about the competition that goes on in there. So I was just curious who who's the best lifter on the on the DL? Uh, Christian Varner. And then I, Samari, I mean, he's he's out right now, but it's be, I would say Samari or, or him. They're both very strong in the weight room. And then with Tamari Fox out, that's a perfect segue into what I was going to ask. Who, who have you seen – I'm kind of rotating in his spot and trying to to earn their way into a potential uh, starting role as he's out. Uh, Miles Murphy has has done a big jump. A lot of guys are rotating in. You know, we're we're bouncing around positions just because I think this year with the depth we have, guys will be able to switch positions, get different groups in there, and I think we're just going to be able to rotate, have different groups, and just be able to tie our offensive lines and have fresh bodies in there the whole game. Anybody else for Ray? The other two players are here and ready. Yeah, and then lastly, Ray, um, what do you view your role on this team coming into uh, another year for you? Uh, I'll be a leader for these guys. You know, I've been really trying to help them pick up things that I struggled with at first and just be a leader for us and be somebody they can count on and be there every game.